Hello, Jen here from Origami Twist. It's Tuesday, which means it's tutorial time. This is a viewer requested project for a chest of drawers that is the perfect shape and size for your Rainbow Loom Elastics. What you're going to need for this project, this will make the outside casing for the drawers. You need six sheets of paper with the dimension of nine inches by four inches. Each of these will make one of these sections that makes up the outside of the set of drawers. For the six drawer set, you will need six sheets of paper in the dimensions of four and three quarters by four and three quarters. You're then going to, as you can see here, do some scoring. Now I'm going to pull out my I'm going to pull out my uh, trimmer here and give you an indication of where to score. This is the drawer that then goes into the little cabinet. For each of these you're going to score at 15 sixteenths of an inch and then you're going to rotate 90 degrees and score at 15 sixteenths of an inch and rotate 90 degrees do that again, 15 sixteenths, and rotate and do it again, 15 sixteenths. Now, it's very important that you choose 15 sixteenths instead of one inch, because otherwise your little drawer will be too big for the box. So, uh, 15, sixteen, 15 sixteenths all the way around. And you'll do that for each of the drawers. And easily modifiable, that's why I'm making each drawer individual. Not only does it give you more stability in your box, it also um, allows you to make as many drawers as you'd like. If you have more Rainbow Loom elastics, you can make more drawers. Okay, so for the outside piece, which is this piece here, it also looks like this all by itself. The scoring looks like this. You'll take your nine inch by four inch piece of paper and you're going to score at one inch, four inches, five inches, and eight inches. And then here you're going to go in one inch and score the length lengthways. Now if you are lengthwise. Now if you don't have a trimmer, you can also do this with a ruler and, and pencil. And if you're not sure how to do that, let me know. I can make a separate video for that if you um, are having trouble getting the marks correct. And then of course this is scoring, not cutting. Okay, now for assembly. Let's start with the outside box. You're going to take your cut and scored 9 inch by 4 inch sheet of paper and you're going to first of all you can see all those score marks there you're going to cut that little square off the end and the reason for that is that it creates extra bulk when you go to fold it up and this will just save save in having the extra bulk now we're going to cut small notches at each of the score marks up to that one inch mark line all the way across. So here, 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 and I'm also going to just trim slightly at a very, very tiny angle on the outsides. So cutting in a little tiny triangle rather than just a slit. So it'll actually have a, a slit in there that allows it to have nice neat edges and it won't overlap too much. So nice little tiny triangle and once again same thing here and on the end just a very very slight triangle. Okay the piece is ready to assemble. You're going to grab your glossy accents or adhesive of choice because this is a because this is a box that's holding something, you want a nice strong adhesive. And give it a bit of a zigzag. And you'll notice that I'm applying the glue to the place where I actually removed that corner. That's very important because it gives you a nice 
neat outside edge when you're finished. You're then going to match up the two. You notice I've, I've um, folded at each of those score marks as well so that it's pre-creased. Hold it for a few minutes to let it set, and you can use paper clips or uh, paper clips or tiny clothespins to hold it closed uh, while it, it is setting. We're then going to apply a tiny bit of glossy accents to each of the small square flaps folding down that flap and once again a bit of glossy accents not too much but you also want enough so that it stays shut okay so I'm gonna hold on to that but you'll probably realize that those inside flaps and don't stay um, pressed down by themselves so I take a, a big highlighter or a dry erase marker or a large marker and press down all the way across just to make sure that that glue comes in contact with each of the flaps on the inside. After, you'd, after you've assembled the outside to all six drawers, now is the perfect time to attach them. Because you've got the clips on the outside basically waiting for it to set, uh, you know that you just pop those on the outside and then glue everything together because I, my reasoning with that is that you've got two layers of cardstock there and only one on the inside but when you attach them together the inside will now have two and it'll be reinforced on all three sides rather than putting four sheets of cardstock together in the middle here and only one on the outsides it'll be a much sturdier box this way and then this way you don't have to even think about it, you just glue the bits that aren't clipped. So how do we do that? Well, let's get two stacks of three and then glue them together. So here we go, we're just going to apply, once again, crystal accents or Gorilla Glue or whatever your adhesive of choice is. And you take the next drawer, making sure they're both facing out, and line them up and attach them together. So it can't hurt to put some clothespins or paper clips on there just to keep it steady while you continue to put your box together. And same thing again, a bit more glossy accents. And another drawer, the outside of the drawer, and so on. And do the same for the other side. Once you've got the two halves glued together. We're now going to put a bit more glossy accent on. And you can kind of see how there's a gap here and a gap here. If we're going to remedy that in a moment. First we're going to line up the two pieces and apply some pressure to it making sure that they're nice and even because remember this is the front of your box so you do want them to match and be fairly flat and you can clip them together at the top but keep in mind that the whole back is not supported like this so the way that I fix that while it's drying is to grab a fairly large elastic not too small, not too large. If it's too large, it won't hold it together. If it's too small, it'll actually crush the box. And then put the elastic on towards the end. And if you'll see that this actually presses everything together really nicely and allows it to dry better. You can also place your hands inside and press the two pieces together for each of those sections and so on, whatever you can think of to get them to stick together really well. While that's drying, let's make the drawers. So you've got a four and three quarter inch by four and three quarter inch piece of paper that's been scored at five sixteenths inch in all the way around. You're going to pick your two favorite sections and trim a tiny little 
triangle remember super super skinny triangle out of each of those score marks up to the next score line and also trimming a tiny little triangle off the sides you're going to turn it 180 degrees and do the same thing on the other side what that's going to do is I'll mock this up without putting glue on it it's going to come together to make your box when all is said and done so you do want that to be super neat and tidy as far as cuts go and just be aware that these two flaps here and here if you're going to be doing any stamping or embellishing before you put it together that's the front and the back of your box so here we go we're going to attach it just very similarly to the way that we did the outsides on this one the location of the clothespins is really important. We're going to put one on the outside so that it makes sure that tab holds down and we're going to put another one right in the corner. That way there will be nothing that sticks out because keep in mind that one of these is going to be the front of your box so you want it to be really uh, nice and neat. There you go. Do the same on the other side and you'll have a completed box and make five more of those and again let them dry well there it is the finished piece I've taken all of the clips and everything off I've put little brads on for drawer pulls and this holds an entire packet of the loom bands that I had they are not the name brand ones so I can't tell you whether the whole packet fits in it or not. You might have to divide it up, but this packet fit and there's quite a few bands in there. Um, if you want to, you can create a skin for the outside of it. Just measure the outside, cut the paper to size and tack it down to create a new look. I do like the look of the original, but it is totally up to you and your preference. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please click subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Uh, click the like button below as well. That tells me that this is a good sort of video to make. And please comment below, especially if you've tried this out and give it a go. I love to hear from you, love chatting with you, and um, I hope you have a great day. Take care, guys, and we'll see you on Thursday.